All right, all right. LDBC, this is your boy Coach Sheldon Harrison. You're live, live, live on the Coach Sheldon Harrison Combat Sports Show Live. Okay, guys, um, I just want to address the, the comments that, that was made by Adrian Broner, you know, post-fight. You know, guys, I, I thought Adrian Broner was being real, he was just being very ignorant and stupid, man, and just immature. Like, you know, this dude, he gets on national TV, okay? He gets on national TV in front of the whole world, okay? And he started dropping in bombs you know, then he said, you know, Jesse Vargas, you know, then, what did he say about the Mexican? Oh, yeah, yeah, the rice and, you know, rice and the chicken. You know, it, it's, it's ignorant, man. And it makes him look stupid. See, I, I, you know what? I got this thing, man. I don't look. I necessarily, you know, even when I interview people, I don't care what color that person are because I understand in the world that they're good people and they're bad people. I'm not anti-everything else, but I am pro-black. I'm for black people. I'm definitely for black people because that's my culture. And I know people try to tell me, you, you ain't got no culture. I, I got a lot of culture. I got a lot of culture. I got a lot of history. And I pull for my own. And you got a lot of Broner fans that came to this channel. Oh, man, you're not even supporting Broner. You're going to make this video. But, you know, see, it's this generation. It's this I want it now generation. And they too lazy and they too ignorant to go do the research because they would know that I made two videos saying that, hey, I really want Broner to win this fight. I support him. But, you know, that's the subject for another video. And to that idiot, oh, your videos don't get over 1,000 views. How about I got over 2,900 videos and 2,700 of those videos got over 1,000 views? I mean, how you going to explain that? Wow. Ouch. People get so stupid. But what I'm bringing my point to is you got good and bad people. And when I look at somebody, when I interview them, I'm not looking at what color they are. I, you know what? I just want to hear about their dreams and their goals and their passions. I love hearing about the passion of other people. Like, what makes them tick? I love hearing it. Because that's what makes me tick, hearing about the dreams and goals of other people. I love it. That's why, you know, interviewing fighters was something, a dream come true for me. It, it really is a dream come true because I love listening to people talk. And if anybody of you ever talked to me on the phone, you know that I like talking. I like people. I just love people. And, you know, Broner, it, it, it just, it was, it was, it really was low class, man. Because Jesse Vargas, I can see if Vargas was even being disrespectful. I may even can give Broner a pass if Vargas was being disrespectful. I can probably even give Broner a pass and say, you know, he's trying to build a fight. I mean, it's a lot of different things and a lot of different methodologies that you can go in on to explain why Broner said the things he said. But you can't. It's after the fight. The fight's over. There's no more fight to sell. Okay, it's done. People will say, well, maybe a future fight. But see, the way he treated Jesse Vargas after the fight, man, it, it, was, it was classless. And, and shout out to Jesse Vargas, man, you know, for having class. I mean, he had class. Vargas had class. He kept it very professional. He even told Broner, look, you need to calm down. And, you know, Jesse is thinking like what most of everybody else thinking watching that was like, what, what the hell is wrong with you? I mean, you know, he's on national TV dropping an N-bomb. On national TV dropping an N-bomb. I mean, are you serious? Not only did you insult Jesse Vargas, who, you know, he, he didn't insult you. He didn't insult you. He didn't do anything. And one idiot, well, yeah, they and they're fighting each other. You think Broner's supposed to be, uh, you know, all buddy-buddy? Because buddy, the fight's over. The fight is over. They're not fighting anymore. They're done. I think the disrespect level that Adrian Broner showed, there was no call for it. There was no call for it, and it was disrespectful. And Vargas completely respected Broner and said, yo, this was a good fight. You know, Broner put up a tough fight. You know, um, I was in a fight. Jesse Vargas, see... How can you not like Vargas? And the only, the, you know what? I've, I've been following Vargas for about three years, and I think the most disrespectful I've ever seen him was when he was crying about the Tim Bradley decision, and Vargas thought that that last 10 seconds, that last 10 seconds, he was going to knock Bradley out. And I'm like, Jesse Vargas is an idiot. There's no way that that last 10 seconds was going to matter, okay? You got beat up by Tim Bradley. You hit Tim Bradley with one shot. That's it. And you know what? You you are not gonna knock Jesse uh, Tim Bar uh, Tim Bradley out in the last ten seconds. He was not. You you are not gonna do it, okay? And he did. And that's that's just the thing, man. That's the thing, okay? And he thought the referee, you know, the referee stopped there. The referee thought the bell rang, okay? And he heard the bell. But you know, that's the subject for another video. But Vargas really, I've never known him to really be a disrespectful person. He tries to really respect his opponents to the best of his ability. And you know, and I can I can salute him for that. I can salute Jesse Vargas for keeping it professional, man. He kept it confessional. You know, Broner was using all the terms, the slurs, and Vargas kept it completely professional, 100. But Broner just decided to act like an idiot, man. Broner say and do things that, you know, he don't think about. 
Now, you even look at, like, Sam Watson and all the people that was affiliated with Sam Watson. They're looking at Adrian Broner, man. Sam Watson looked like he wanted to kill Broner. Like, he really, Sam looked like he wanted to cuss him out. And, and you know, you know, people, oh, get this guy. Well, I, I get him. I get him. I get Broner completely, man. The guy's ignorant. He got mental problems and he's ignorant. And that's what it is. But see, somebody, Broner going Broner to mess around. And I swear this dude, he going to mess up. He going to mess with the wrong person, okay? See, guys like Broner, man, they get hurt. He going to mess with the wrong person. He going to say something out the side of his mouth to the, to the wrong person. And that person, they're going to be ready. They're going to be ready for what Adrian Broner has to offer. And they're going to do a number on Adrian Broner. Adrian Broner might not come back from what that person do to him. I'm telling you now. I'm telling you this. I'm telling you this today. If Adrian Broner don't stop acting like a darn buffoon everywhere he go, somebody going to cap him. And somebody going to put one in him. And, and, folks, I'm just telling you how I see it. Like, you know, and the way he treated Fred, he threatened Fred. And I'm like, yo, that couldn't be me because, you know, uh, Adrian Broner would have tasted Excalibur. If you guys don't know what Excalibur is, just look it up. You'll be like, Coach, you got an Excalibur? I sure do. I sure do. Adrian Broner would have tasted I, I wouldn't have took nothing off Adrian Broner. I would tell you, what, what you mean? Who, 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 wait a minute. Who you calling a B? Who you calling a B? See, and people think, oh, just because he a fighter, man, that, you know, oh, man, I better not attack him. Man, look, first place we'll go, we'll go to Adrian Broner knees because he ain't going to be expecting that anyway. We'll go to his knees. We'll go to his knees. We'll take his knees out. Okay? See, in the street, in a boxing ring, it's different. Fighting in the street's a little bit different. It's a little bit different because there are no rules. See, in a boxing ring, you got somebody separating, you're breaking up, but in the street, there are no rules. Adrian Broner better be real, real careful. He better be extremely careful on who he decide to, you know, threaten. Because, see, people can misconstrue that. And, see, Broner don't know who people know who people know. Broner don't know who Fred know. But I can tell you what, though. I think Fred know people. And I'm just saying. I'm not trying to say nothing. I ain't trying to start up nothing. But I'm just saying, I think Fred know a few people. You know, isn't it kind of funny, man, that, you know... Broner mysteriously, you know, he got he got his vehicle shot at. I mean, I wonder why. I, I wonder why somebody tried to shoot him up. Does anybody know? See, Broner done pissed off so many people, man. He done legitimately pissed off so many people that don't leave it beneath somebody, okay, to not want to take him out of you. Don't leave it above somebody because somebody will do it. See, Adrian Broner been running up on the wrong scrubs, man. Everybody not going to be a Leonard Ellaby, okay? Everybody not going to have self-constraint like Fred Hawthorne. Everybody not going to have that. They ain't going to have it. Adrian Broner going to meet that one person who ain't got no self-control, who was a savage, and don't really care one way or this day to the next day whether he live or die. And when Adrian Broner meet that kind of person, that person going to be the one to take him out. See, people like Broner, you can tell them, you can talk to people like Broner all the time. But see, talking to people like him, it does nothing because he don't listen. You know, Adrian Broner's one of those people that they actually got to learn when stuff happened to him. They actually got to learn the lesson right then and there. See, Adrian Broner done learned a lot of lessons. See, people done told him not to do stuff, and then he go do it anyway. He ended up learning a lesson. And see, some lessons you learn, you might live to tell about. But then there are other lessons that you might learn it, but before you get to even really change your ways, you might be on your way out of here as you're learning that lesson, and that's just the way that is. This is your boy, Coach Shelton Harrison. I'm done. What are you waiting on? Subscribe.